what is the understanding of, of insulin resistance? So in terms of what we typically think of, we think of insulin uh, and insulin receptors as a lock and key model. That is, insulin is like a key and the receptor is like a lock. So insulin, when it goes uh, up after you eat, opens up the lock and lets glucose into the cells. So during insulin resistance, what happens is that we see that there's lots of insulin around, but yet the glucose is not going into the cell. So classically, we believe that there must be something gumming up this mechanism. You can clone the receptors and you can see that they're all normal. You can see that the insulin molecule is normal. So it's not like the key is deformed and it's not like the, the lock is deformed. Those are both normal, but perhaps there's something like a piece of gum that's just sitting in that lock that's preventing it from working. And because it doesn't work, the glucose piles up on the inside and is classically understood to have nothing on the inside or if the cell is facing internal starvation. The problem with that sort of paradigm is that if you look at type 2 diabetes, these people don't look like they're starving. In fact, there's excess fat everywhere. They have too much body fat, but they also have way too much liver fat. They have too much uh, visceral fat. So it doesn't really jive. If you have type 1 diabetes, which is the severe lack of insulin, there you do face a situation of internal starvation. But you, if you look at the kids who develop this disease, they are skeletal. They really cannot put on weight no matter what. So that's real internal starvation. Type 2 is nothing like that. So we know that this sort of paradigm is incorrect because there's actually a paradox uh, that's not often talked about. So this is the central paradox of insulin resistance. That is, insulin resistance means that your body should be resistant to the effect of insulin. So we see that because the glucose does not go up. The other thing insulin does is that it promotes the storage of body fat. Remember, when you eat, insulin goes up, you store food energy, some of it as fat. When you have type 2 diabetes, which is a disease of very high insulin resistance, what happens is that your body should, because it's resistant to the effect of insulin, not be producing any fat. So if it's in a state of internal starvation, it shouldn't be making any new fat. But that's not true. We know that in type 2 diabetes, they have big fatty livers and they're producing huge amounts of new fat. So here's the paradox. If the cell has no glucose on the inside, how can it produce fat from that glucose? There is none. It's like trying to build a house with no bricks. You might have all the carpenters and all the construction workers, but if you have no bricks, you can't make it. So how are you going to make these new molecules of fat if you have no glucose to make them? There's no substrate. So that's the paradox of insulin resistance. So one effect of insulin, which is letting the glucose in, is resistant, but the other effect, which is making these new fat cells, is not resistant, it's actually accelerated. So at the same time, in the same cell, with the same insulin, with the same insulin receptor, one effect is resistant and one, ex one effect is accelerated. So the entire paradigm does not work. So what you have to understand is that insulin resistance is not a broken lock and key or gummed up lock and key. What it is, is it's an overflow mechanism. So if you have insulin and it's trying to push this glucose into the cell, there's another possibility why this glucose isn't going in. And this is that there's just too much in there. So if you think about packing a suitcase, when you put your luggage in, at first it goes in nice and easy, but once it's full, it's really hard to shove those last two t-shirts into your suitcase. And it's not because there's anything wrong with the suitcase and it's not because there's anything wrong with your t-shirt. There's just too much. So that's what's happening in the state of insulin resistance, is that your cell is so full of glucose that it won't push any more in. At the same time, that liver cell is desperately trying to make new fat and shuttle it out somewhere else, shuttle it out the other side. And that's what really insulin resistance is. So if you understand that insulin resistance is really the effect of too much insulin for too long and too much sugar, then again, the solution becomes extremely obvious. What you don't want to do is keep pushing in more uh, t-shirts into that suitcase. What you want to do is get rid of that. You need to get rid of the sugar. And that's a dietary issue, not a drug issue. It's not like we're trying to fix the receptor. It's just too much sugar sitting inside the cell. That's it.